Okay, uh, my name is Brenda Doyle and I'm a contract research officer with Chagisk working on the pig welfine project. It is a project looking at the development of meat inspection as a pig health and welfare diagnostic tool. We've carried out many farm and factory based studies on the project. Um, the one I'm going to be speaking about later on today at the research dissemination afternoon is the work that we did on the anti morsel indicators of pig health and welfare and also I'm going to talk a little bit about the major outcome of our project which was the development of a pro protocol for anti-mortem and post-mortem meat inspection and um, to be used in a computerised meat inspection data recording system. So on the anti-mortem work um, we carried out, we did um, two studies. The first study was on a very small data set of 164 pigs. And what we did was we just looked at special intention pigs in the layerage. So pigs become special attention when the TVI on duty, which is the veterinary inspector in the layerage, um, sees a pig where they have concerns about any health or welfare conditions it may have. So they're detained to the side and get a more detailed examination. So we found that um, research was scarce in the area and that's why we felt we needed to look into the anti-mortem work. Um, the reasons for detaining pigs anti-mortem are unknown and the reasons and the relationship between um, their anti-mortem status or their special attention status anti-mortem and the reasons for condemnation post-mortem the relationship there was unknown as well so we said we'd look at that to see if we could find any any results that would be helpful to producers so in the first study we did find that special attention pigs had quite a high um, condemnation rate um, and with the second study which was a bigger data set of two, over 2,000 pigs the condemnation rate was 42% so that's quite a high level of, of um, condemnations post-mortem. Um, so the significance of the findings are the producer would be able to identify reasons anti-mortem where they will likely have a poor outcome on the post-mortem side. So for example, pigs with abscesses or pigs with pot belly or abdominal distension, um, is it worthwhile sending them to slaughter if there's going to be high condemnation um, during meat inspection? So it's, just, it's kind of the significance of those findings would be very very useful to the farmer. So we would propose that these lesions are recorded anti-mortem um, so the producer then becomes aware of the lesions and the reasons why their pigs are being detained in the layerage. And the second study that we looked at um, was um, examining the use of a computerised system um, by developing a protocol um, to record all the significant health and welfare lesions that producers and the industry have concerns about and feeding that information back to the producers so they can, uh, and other decision makers so they can help inform herd health and welfare plans. So is it a visual assessment for the TVI to determine if a, if a pig need if a pig becomes a special attention pig? It is initially and we and so we would call it an observation because they are looking at possibly 200 pigs being unloaded off, off, off the, the haulier truck so it is very much primarily visual initially and if they do spot any pigs that they do have concerns about they're able to detain them for more detailed inspection then at that point. And what would they visually be looking for? A pig that's lame, a pig that's hyperventilating? Yeah, you're, you're spot on there. Lameness was the main reason for detaining pigs anti-mortem. That was the primary reason. But other things like uh, downer pigs, so for example, pigs that are fully recumbent or partially recumbent or just down behind, for example, and that was the second most common reason for detaining pigs anti-mortem. It may be a transport injury, for example, that may have occurred or um, the, sick, uh, the pig became quite sick during transport, perhaps due to stress or exhaustion. For lameness, the incidence of full condemnations is low, but partial condemnations do actually have quite a, a high... Um, lameness would be one of the reasons, like a particular leg, for example, or due to arthritis. Arthritis um, is, a, is a cause of lameness, and arthritis is quite high um, for um, partial condemnations and also some full condemnations as well. Yeah, and um, what we would propose for um, and for developing a system that anti-mortem together with post-mortem meat inspection recording and reporting that information back to the producer would be hugely valuable to, to the pig industry.